Dreallday.com. Topic of this video is levels. It is levels to this, and this is whatever it is that you're doing. Understand that in the business world, for example, you have people who sell stuff and you have entrepreneurs. They are not the same thing. In the uh, work world, you have people who have a job and they go to work every day, and you have professionals. In fitness space, fitness and athletics, you have people who go to the gym and people who exercise, and you have athletes. And some of this is semantics and some of this is real, depending on, you, know, you look up the definitions of these words. The whole point here is, I want you to get the, the spirit of the point that I'm saying here, not necessarily the, the definition of it. And by this, I mean, what level do you want to be at? The question is, what level do you want to be at in what you're doing? All right, if you are uh, out there selling things, you're selling things on the internet, you're selling a service, you're selling a product, whatever it is, uh, are you trying to be an entrepreneur? And you want to be full fledged in this, or you just want to be a person who sells stuff online? You want to be a, a side hustler? You want to be somebody who makes a little bit of extra money on the side? And you no, know, that's that's pretty much the level that you want to get to. If you're in sports, do you want to be a person who works out and a person who plays that sport, or do you want to be a blank, like a person who actually does? You want to be a person who plays basketball? Or you want to be a basketball player? Right, those are two different things. They ain't the same thing. And when you step into that other level. You want to be a person with a job, you want to be a professional. Do right, you want to be a, an employee, you want to be a career, a person with a career. And the differences in the levels is not necessarily a big skill difference. A lot of people think that the difference between getting being at this level and the next level is well, when my skills get up, you know, when I work on my game and I have a certain amount of skill, then I'll be at this higher level. But that's not actually the difference. The thing that really makes a difference is the psychology. This is a psychology difference. When you change the way that you are thinking about the thing that you do and the way you see yourself in the thing that you do, that's when things start to change. Because when the psychology changes, what happens is your approach changes. And the way that you discipline yourself for the work changes. The way that you show up on a consistent basis changes. Or the fact that you start showing up on a consistent basis changes. How you do your work changes, how you get ready changes, how you execute changes, uh, the standards that you're holding yourself to, those change. And when all of those things change, guess what happens automatically? What automatically happens is your skill level increases, your ability improves, and when your skill level increases, your ability improves, and you're doing those things consistently, well, guess what happens after that? Automatically, the results change. Now you start getting the results that you want. This is where, this is how things go. So what I do, when it comes to anything that I've done, whether it's from the athletic world, when it comes to the, the professional world, the business world as an entrepreneur, is first of all deciding who do I want to be in this space? Is this something that I'm doing for fun? Is this something I'm doing for real? Am I Do I want to be serious about this? And I understand anything I want to be serious about, I got to be showing up consistently doing it. I got to be showing up every single day. I got to have a process for what I'm doing. I need to get some expert information and insights on what it is that I'm doing so I know that what I'm doing is based on uh, somebody who already knows how to do it, somebody who's already done it, someone who's already achieved it, or people who have already gone through the process and they have already uh, basically, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? They have basically accumulated, for lack of a better term, they've accumulated the process that needs to be followed in order to get to this outcome. This is why we have the coaching industry. This is why we have training. This is why you have continuing education. Any of you uh, who's a career person, you know you have continuing education to have at conferences and they do uh, online trainings and webinars and things like that for this exact reason. So that those of you who are serious about getting to the outcomes that you say you want to get to, there's a process for actually getting there. And it starts with your mindset because it's not give you all the training in the world, but if you're not serious about using that training and going somewhere, well, you won't even show up to the training. So it doesn't matter that I'm giving the training, right? If you're not there to hear it, if you're not there to get it. I can write the book, but if you're not serious about your career, you ain't gonna go to Amazon and buy it. All right? I can be uh, doing a, a training session at the gym, but if you're not serious about getting better in your sport, you ain't gonna show up at 6.30 in the morning at the gym or at the track or at the field to actually do the workout. So it starts with the mindset. This is a psychology change. 
when your psychology about who you are and what you're doing changes, then the actions will change. And when the actions change and those actions are stuck to over a consistent period of time, the results change. This is the process. This process is set in stone. This is how it works. You look up anybody who is great at what they do, anyone who's produced great results, whether it's somebody you know personally, whether it's you yourself in any area, or it's somebody you know, who's just known, a famous person, I guarantee you look at this process, you'll see it over and over again. Now, sometimes people do this unconsciously. They don't even know that they're doing it. It's just something that naturally uh, happens with them. Most of the time, this is intentional. Most of the time, this is intentional. And uh, two words that I use often, if you're not familiar with me, you'll hear me use these words all the time, is conscious and intentional. Because most of the stuff that we do as human beings, we do unconsciously, we're not thinking about it. They're called habits. And we don't have to be intentional about habits because they happen by themselves. But if you wanna make real change in your life, change meaning doing something different than what you're habitually doing, you gotta get conscious about things that are normally unconscious, and you gotta get intentional about things that are normally, you're doing them unintentionally. So you wanna make change, you gotta do that on purpose. And you can't do that by accident. You have to have an intention of making a change, and then that's when the change happens. So all of these pieces work together. So with all that said, I want you to text me and tell me the best idea, the best insight, the best point you got from this video. My, name, my number is 305-384-6894. When you text me, not only will I get it, I'll hit you back. You also will be in my text community, which means every day when I send out my daily motivation text, you'll be getting it free of charge, straight to your phone for free every single day. And secondly, work on your game university. That's where I do all of my coaching programs. That's where you know, you're serious about taking what I'm talking about here and applying it to what you do personally and professionally, come join Work On Your Game University. I will walk you through and coach you through how to do this stuff. You'll get access to all of my best trainings and my best frameworks on mindset, strategy, systems, accountability, execution, discipline, confidence, selling yourself, content, all of that stuff is inside the university. You can join that by going to workonyourgameuniversity.com. The links to both are below in the description to this video. Work on your game. Dre, all day.